Okay, I think I need to actually look at my camera while I'm recording because I did the whole section for 4.1 and it only saved nine seconds. <laughs> so let's try this again. Um, 4.1 in your book is on page 178, Signing Naturally. Uh, we're talking about contrastive structure. In contrastive structure, you're introducing two options, uh, a which. You know, is it this or is it that? Um, and then when you introduce those two, you are doing a body shift from your dominant side to your passive side. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in the example that's given on page 179, we have the woman who's saying uh, she wants to adopt two children, a boy and a girl. So I'll go through those signs slowly with you. <clears throat> She's a As you can see, she's saying, I want to adopt, I want, want to adopt. Adopt the sign is made by your hands going down like that, grasping and coming up. Adopt, adopt, like you're picking up something, adopting. Um, and you know the sign for boy, girl, children. Okay, so that's contrastive structure in a nutshell. Regarding this, uh, your uh, which questions, oh, boy, girl, which, anyway. I thought I'd go through the vocabulary for 4.1. Um, let's see. Some of these are compound signs. I'll just go through the list. Boyfriend, boyfriend, boy, you know, and friend, the compound sign, friend, with the interlocking fingers. <laughs> Girlfriend, same concept. Girlfriend. Boy, you know, girl. Want with your crocked, crook, crooked, <laughs> your five hands like that. Want. 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 Coming towards you. Want. You're taking something. Think of actually like um, you have a box in front of you. You're holding the box with your fingers wrapped around the front of the box and just pulling the box towards you. Uh, don't want, same concept, it's obviously, except it's negated and it's a compound sign. So don't want, don't want. So if I were to do that without talking, so you're emphasizing it more emphatically with your facial grammar, the shake of your head. Indicating you don't want something. Maybe is, um, I think of it as scales, you know, like the scales of justice. Uh, this or that. Do I want this or that? Maybe. Maybe this, maybe that. Maybe. So you're not your open five hands, but your closed five hand fingers and your thumb out to the side. Maybe. Um, husband, member. The male signs come from up here, so coming from up here, and you can actually start off as a boy, but I always have, um, because the sign is usually made so fast and it's a compound sign, do the male marry. It's basically the sign means male marry, or male married. So we're coming up here and we're coming down to marry. So marry, male marry, husband, or male spouse. Um, same, along the same line of thinking, you have female, Mary is wife or female spouse. Remember to bring your, your dominant hand over top of your passive hand. You're going to hear, hear sounds in the background because I've got my laptop on and I'm hearing emails coming in because I'm expecting a, an important one and it'll pop up on my screen. Anyway. Mother, you already know that, the open five hand, mother, down here, the chin, father, likewise up where the uh, male signs are, up here. Um, parents, I've seen two different, made them two different ways. I tend to use the more ASL way, which is mother, father, mother, father, father, mother, whatever. But mother, father, usually like that. And you'll sometimes see an initialized with a P like that, the same as placement as you would with mother, father, but the initialized P meaning parents. But this is most common, especially in the deaf, really de grassroots deaf community. 
of, let's see, family. You know this already. Your F hands starting out close to your chest, coming out in a circle, and the finger, the pinky fingers touching. So family. Same concept movement as class, organization, whatever. Those initialized signs, but family. Family. Uh, daughter, again, we have the female coming down to the baby. You don't need to do like this for baby. I mean, this is a sign for baby, but daughter. So coming down to the crook of your hand, your arm. Daughter, likewise, son. Up here, starting up for the male and coming down to the crook of your hand, arm, son. Children, more than one. You can think of them as you're bouncing two basketballs. One basketball, that's one child. So child, children. Uh, brother, again up here with your the masculine, coming down to hand shape like that. Your passive hand shape is like this. Sometimes people actually do it that way, but it is supposed to be a ref a um, <laughs> yeah, can't think of the name of the symmetrical sign, but it really is. You're coming down from your the male down to this, so it's actually the sign originates, and it really you'll see some older deaf people do like this, where it's male same. Male same is really the meaning of the sign, where it comes from. But these days, you'll see it mostly like this, coming down like this. So if that's brother, obviously this is sister. Sister. Siblings. Brother, sister. Brother, sister. Siblings. Uh, I don't know what the Signing Naturally text has for that. I have not reviewed the videos for that, but I'm. if it might be different, remember we're in Arizona, and even though California is one state over, there is dialectical difference between signs, so there may be a different sign that they're using in the book that was published and filmed and everything in Los Angeles. But for the sake of the argument, this is the sign for sibling, brother, sister, and sometimes you may actually see people sign or fingerspell siblings to S-I-B-L-I-N-G-S, siblings. Uh, twins, again, this is a regional variation. The only sign I've ever seen is twins. The T on either side of the chin, the letter T, twins. I'm a mat I think I've also seen this sign for twins, which is the index finger on either side of the chin. But I always use the initialized sign. It's pretty commonly accepted. I've never had anybody not understand me. Uh, go out on a date. Go out, go out. Your five hand going and in, coming into your and hand, moving away from you, going out. And you don't need to sign date, just going out, date, D-A-T-E. Going out on a date. And you may actually see people do this, going out on a date. This is date. Sign for meet, to meet, also the sign for date. Going out on a date, going out on a date. Um, let's see. Fall in love, the sign that I've always used and is commonly used among deaf people countrywide pretty much. And I don't know what this text has. Let me know if it's different. But falling in love is your passive hand, your passive closed five hand, thumb out. In front of you, your index finger coming down from your cheek area or eye area, out like this, and just coming down. Twice is what I normally see it. Bouncing twice into the hand, you're falling in love. And it helps to do the good old facial expression. Falling in love. Mm, falling in love. Okay. Go steady. Um, usually this, the sign for together, like that. Your A hands with your fing thumbs pointing forward, together, going steady. Some people might actually fingerspell that, S-T-E-A-D-Y, but steady. Uh, going steady. Proposed marriage, a couple different. Actually, a few I can think of. Um, propose to ask. 
your closed five hand with your thumbs out like that to ask marriage. To ask marriage. Ask marriage or propose, propose, to offer, propose, same hand shape, up like this, propose marriage. Or you might see the initialized sign with the letter P, propose marriage, propose marriage. Um, engaged is the E hand on top of your ring finger. So engaged. It's like I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Um, Mary, we've already done that. Mary, remember your dominant hand on top of your passive hand, clasped. Pregnant, your five hands from your side come out in front of you, fingers inter interlocking like that. Remember the sign for America? Okay. Pregnant. Pregnant. Pregnant American. <laughs> Never. No, anyway, pregnant. Um, give birth. A couple of signs. Um, to come from the womb like that. To show literally giving birth or more graphically um, come from the birth canal out like that where you're your five hand closed, your modified five hand with closed fingers, palm facing in, your palm, your dominant hand, palm facing in will come underneath like that. Birth, birth. Sometimes this is a sign used for birth, birthday. Birthday, birthday, okay? And future is your, again, your modified five hand with fingers closed going in front of you like that, going forward. Remember, this is our timeline with uh, our body acting as the present, present tense. Anything behind us is past tense. Anything in front of us is future tense. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you.